Hello guys, welcome back to EGL 13. We're straight into things here and we're a ball with Raiden and, and Ellie Core Beast off the output. It is seem to be exerted with a nice little star actually. Yeah, nicely uh some some nice map control rather from Exertus. However, still no one yet to cap that B flag. Some big nades being th thrown out there by Rated. And obviously we are at five to one in favor of Epsilon, of course. Although just one map away from the EGL 13 champions. You know, I think a lot of people expected them to be in this grand final somewhere. I think they expected the opposition to be TCM, not Exertus. So Exertus making a bit of a name for themselves. And you've got to say, a very talented lineup. Oh, yeah. I mean, they've slayed so, so well. That, I, mean, I think that's been be the main thing. I think they have things to work on. I think their teamwork could be better at times, but I just think their slaying power is fantastic. I mean, Enduro, this guy is absolutely ridiculous at times. And uh, Sorry, Jared just obviously causing problems there, and he is actually going to... Silence Emtar respawn. I mean, he's done very, very well, and it is a strange pick. I love it. Well, you see, he's been playing pretty off. The past couple of maps, I think it, even he would agree himself. So he's trying to change things up a little bit. Picks up the vector, oh, and Gabo. well, friendly nade as well. So Absalom were able to build a small lead from that, and now they've decided to jump on B. Swanee picks up one, nicely played. Sadly, Josh did go down, so they're no longer on that B flag. And Swanee just now needs to try and pick up a couple of kills. Seems to get his team back into this. Well, just sitting up in the middle. Both teams being a little bit tentative here, just trying to get. Their feelers out to see where everyone is, but it is going to be Epsilon with the advantage here. Three men do go down. Rated has some work to do. He's done very, very well, though. That's two men down. Can they actually manage to pull this off? Rated's picked up the third. Is he going to pick up the fourth as well? Not quite. But B has been captured by Epsilon, and they take control. Now, though, Tommy, who's also using a sound centaur. Uh, wow. Okay, Josh getting very loud. He picked up a two-piece, but I'm, I'm so confused by, by, the, uh, by the choices of weapons there. I actually, I want to go to a listening with Team Epsilon. Well. I'll get your back red. One bullet. Oh, fire, oh fire. my god! Fire now! Fire now! Fire now! Watch your fire! Watch your fire! Watch your fire! Yeah, you got me. You got me. I can't. Two, 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 two. Get a B. Two, get a B. Two races need to be. Tom's got it. Tom's got it. Tom's got it. One more, one more boy. Left to the short time. Short. Get this in the building. Game, boys. Let's go, boys. I'm so stunned. Right, keep the fucking comms clean now. One on the pass. One on the pass. Wait, fire. Fire. Wait. Again on the pass again. I'm watching red caution. Have you got red? Whoever that is. I've got left. They can't come left. Got red. Nice, boys. Have you got red? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, alright. No, no. I'm, I'm praying in red caution now. I'm praying in red caution. I'm in red now. Yeah, yeah, Swan, get underpass. Get underpass if you can. Underpass, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, right, I've red. got underpass. No, one, two, 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 one, three, three. I've one, got underpass. Yo. One, two. One's already caught. Caution, caution, caution. 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 Caution, I'm on C, I'm on C with you. Nice, right. Let's oh. go! Last guy might be red. Yeah, they might spawn. Get the most one up. Red down, red train, red train, red train. Go for this. I got me, red train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we get the back, do not lose me. Yo, I'm weak, weak. I'm B, I'm B, I'm B, I'm B. I'm B. I'm B now, left up. Oh, he's on the side. I got two, Jared, I got two. Pay for you, man. We got two. One might push Chris as well. We've got the booker. Tell me what he's supposed to want. I spawned out. I spawned out. Sorry, I spawned out. Team Gildy, team Gildy. Stay A. I'm camping here, but I'm going to be Get ready, jump B. Yeah. There's two Play A. Wait, wait, wait. Go, boys. Green box, green box. He's right side, right side. Yo, I'm gonna come to you then. I'll come in. Oh, oh fuck it out, really. Let's go. Josh, I've got 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 Josh, left, left, left. Just one team. Yo, we'll come to you. Yo, camp home's for fucking game, man. Josh, camp I'm camping. Home. Josh, I'm camping. You go. Camp home. Fuck it, mate. They're not coming in, man. They're not coming. Let's go. Yo, it's a safe One's going safe. Josh, let him know exactly how he feels about that. Single handedly destroyed three quarters of the Exertus team. And interestingly, he heard Swanee there. I'm not sure if you heard that, but it's funny saying, all right, camp home whole game now. That's all they need to do. Just camp that home flag. That's his, exactly. his uh, game style for the next half. But still, interesting strategy, really. But Epsilon, world of their own right now. Oh, yeah, fantastically well played by them. I mean, Tommy, nine streak. I yes. mean, it's something we're just becoming a little bit used to here. I mean, fantastic play by him. In the minute, still on board with Tommy. Oh, that's my answer. I mean, what? I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. Robs does pick up a two-piece at the minute. Ten seconds to go in this last few seconds of this half it's going to be 89 to 53 yep fantastic first half from team epsilon <gasps> as josh just did the nasty on enduro in the last second as well and did epsilon the nasty. Yeah, did the nasty my friend look at that i mean you're going to see it again it was that nasty look at it Ugh. beautiful accuracy from josh and now to be honest 
I'd be writing the uh, Epsilon name on the check. Yeah, I, I think at this moment in time, you've got a 36-point difference. That's a full minute of triple cap to do. Exist. No pressure. Well, if there's ever a time to do it, it's in the grand final. Let's have a look, see how Exertus is going to play off the break. We're going to be on board with Endura. Be trying to get onto that B flag, and that's an assist early on. Looks towards the train. Nobody home. And realistically now, Freight is one of those maps where if Epsilon gets some good control, they can just leave B neutral. They don't even need to hop on B. Exactly. I mean, they, they don't need to. I mean, Exertus is going to have to. That's the issue. Swanee is going to shut down, and it does look as if they're actually going to get a hold of it, and they are. So he says, with a potential route back into this, but shots being fired, and Robs needs to stay alive. Tommy has taken out a <laughs> He's letting them know about it as well. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> he does get taken out by Jed. On board with Raided at the minute. Just curious to see whether Exertus can slay out and try and put some pressure on the home flag. That's exactly what Rated is going to try and do. See if he can try and put some pressure on that Epsilon C flag. But he's going a very roundabout way about it. Not entirely sure. Well, his teammate's down, so he decided to track back towards B. But look at that play from Epsilon. So smart. As soon as they sneak through, they're going to jump on that A flag. There's going to be one player from Exertus who's going to try and stop him. And it is going to be Endura. Oh, wow. They've been really pushed in there. But at the same time, Exertus have actually managed to capture a hold of C as well. So pretty much just a trade of home flags. And it's going to be fine for both teams. They can both deal with it. But Exertus, they need to do something here. I mean, if we have a look, yeah, they, if they were to hold the two cap for the rest of the game, they would win. But if they were to hold it, I mean, Tommy's going to get caught in no man's land. But there you go, Exertus. A couple of men down. And Jed causing problems again. This is, you know what? It's just that thing, having composure to do that. Yep. You know, you can throw yourself at them. You can throw yourself at the whole game. And then you can sort of think, yeah, so you know what? Actually, I'm going to go around it. Oh, again. Tommy. There's one. No! Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Would have been nice to see him get that three piece, but it's going to happen. Cap. Yeah, Exertus put Ooh. the pressure up. That's going to be a trip cap for a couple of seconds, and every second counts. Just reduce that deficit. Chip away at it. And you know, I was saying how we should be potentially putting the uh, Epsilon name on the check. Maybe not just yet. Exertus hanging on for dear life. Oh, well, we're right in here. It's an important kill. He does get shut down by Swanee. Josh is going to come in there, take out Robs, and Chura goes down as well. Josh is having a fantastic series. 26 and 15. Really needs to do something special. Not going to quite happen. He does get shut down, and. Yeah, star right in Epsilon again. I think they didn't just actually manage to cover it, although they did just neutralize it. So they are now going to get it. 12 points is the difference. And we're three quarters away through this domination. Exertus need to do something special. Yeah, Tommy going to try and put some suppressive fire over a B. Trying to go for a wall bank. Right to them robs. I'm going to get a trade there. So two players alive for both teams. Tommy picks up one. Josh, last player up for Epsilon. He's got to play a fire. Goes for the kill on B. Domo not going to get it. Exertus not just over yet. Morambo with Robs. And they do have that control. If they hold this, they will win the map. So, uh, I mean, it's a case of just holding up with Josh firing at the 27 and 70. If you look at the slay inside of things, it definitely is Epsilon in the driving seat, but it's not what's important. And right, just having a little check at C. That's a very, very defensive play. He's wary of, of Jurd. And because of that, they've lost map control there, and they're going to lose B unless Ray can get the kill. No! Windy oh. aim. Oh, no! You can't afford to do that. Josh Jesus. is going to say thank you very much. Someone needs to shut the windows here at EGL because there is a big, big breeze that just went straight <laughs> past this controller because that was the worst accuracy I think I've ever seen in a grand final so far. Tommy won. <laughs> Two-piece from Josh. And, well, yeah, Epsilon, they can just leave that B-flag neutral. Yeah, that's all they need to do. I mean, it's not going to deter them from not doing so. Tommy somehow stays alive. Exertus are coming at them once again. They need to do it. It is do or die now. Robs with a two-piece. Swanning going to try and pick up one on the reading. And does so. It does go down to Reddit, though. And it is going to be Jared answering about just holding it in. He goes down as well, though. And in the minute, Exertus are looking like they could potentially do something here. And in the minute, if oh, ho, ho, here it is. It, oh, still neutral. Still going to be neutral. They need... They will need a triple cap at some point. Epsilon hanging on for dear life. Oh. Be still not going to be taking Josh with a huge name. Oh, my God, Josh. Josh is just on another level right now. He's 34 kills, and he's done just enough for his team to keep that B flag neutral for long enough as well. So pressing kills coming in from Swanee, Tommy, and, of course, Jerd. But here comes Exertus. They need to just three-man hop it. They can't afford to just keep getting Semtex off it. And with 28 seconds left. Looking at that map, there's no one in a position to even get close to A. Oh, that is going to be down. game, set, and match. It's going to be Epsilon, your EGL 13 champions. Give them a round of applause. They never really looked in much danger.
And you've got to say, Josh, when it matters, dropping 35 kills. I gave him a lot of stick the oh. other day for when his teammates all dropped 30 and he didn't. That's a performance and a half from that young man. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's something we talked about a little bit over this weekend. We sort of said, you know, Tommy, Swanee, and, and Jared have all been firing. Jared had a bit of a dodgy grand final, I have to say. But Josh, fantastic. Shutting players down left, right, and center at the right times as well. You can't ask for any better than that. 35 and 22 from him. And you know what? H hands off to the Exodus, guys. I'm just going to give them a quick shout out. I, I, oh, I, I know they've lost it, but wow. Not many people would have expected a grand final that wasn't TCM against Epsilon. 100% agree. I, you know, coming here, I was like, all right, who's placing third? Who's placing fourth? Yeah, that was essentially what everyone was wondering, but I mean, Exodus, wow, fantastic work by them. I mean, coming in here, you've got to say, as said, it was a competition for third because it was going to be a toss up between TCM and Epsilon. Epsilon the stronger this weekend. TCM have a little bit of work to do. Yep. Because they're going to have to go back and have, have a sit down and say, right, realistically, we should still be finishing second here. Yep. They we should. should. There was no excuse, really. We should be in that grand final. Exertus, fantastically well played. We can't take anything away from them, but they're going to go into G3 with great confidence. Yeah, completely agree. Talks about potential MVP ton. Any uh, Anyone you would potentially swear? <sighs> um, I mean, obviously, you have to go from Epsilon. Can you look past Tommy? I mean... You kind of can't. You can't. I think I, if, if, if it was my vote, I, I would give it to Tommy. I mean, those S&D sniper players, there's time and time again making clutch players, and the whole of the Epsilon squad played phenomenally, but just those odd little standout players by Tommy really, really helps the team out. If I was to go past anybody from the winning team, I would say Marky had a good event. I'd say Endura. But Endura, yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say. I think Endura was fantastic for Exertus. And, you know, everyone Exertus deserves a round of applause for me. Because, oh, I think I, you know, fantastic work by them. They really just come through and break that top two. I mean, a couple of people do sort of have this discussion. Is there more than a, a top two or is it is it basically just TCM and Epsilon? But well, you Exertus know, proven that otherwise. Speaking of Tommy and the uh, MVP award, we actually have an instant replay of that amazing S and D ace, we'll uh, check it out right now. So, this was the uh, the we're replay. We're gonna run down. We? We're gonna yeah. Let's let's just evaluate the play. I think you know, give some uh, give some Christopher Tun analysis. There you see me saying this is of course where Tommy's gonna go. You'd be a fool to go anywhere else with a sniper rifle. No, of course, Tommy go Tommy had some some other ideas. He decided nope, that isn't what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just wreak havoc on the map and to be completely honest with you Tun, that is exactly what he did made his way bottom fire to start things off and immediately looked there Hi. bang there's one you say he's going to get a collateral well good enough a quick two piece and oh. absolutely sensational accuracy really coming out from Tommy with a sniper rifle there was the third and at this point we're getting excited saying this is going to be a sniping ace how often do you ever get to see that it's very very rare. very rare but of course Hashtag bottled it. Don't give Tommy any credit because he just simply, he, he turned into a, a, a woman right at the very end when it mattered most. He had, I mean, well, observe, 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 observe the, uh, you can't shake your head at me, Tommy, because look, you have him in your scope, you're ADS, you got nothing but time, he doesn't know you that, and you bottle it. Bottled you pull it. out the pistol, no sniper race for Tommy. No stomach, no stomach. <laughs> Still, a fantastic play, nevertheless, you can't take anything away from him, and as we said, our MVP for EGL 13. Yeah, definitely. But I do believe we're going to throw it over to Sims and Swanee, obviously, one of the players from Epsilon. Grand final winners here at EGL 13. 